Hey, Scott Grove here from Imagine Grove, and in this episode, I'm going to be test driving the new Shaper Origin. If you haven't, if you haven't heard about this machine, this has changed the industry. It is definitely a game changer. It's basically a handheld CNC. Uh, so briefly, right here, you've got this rotter and uh, a screen, and this rotter sort of moves independently from the base. So you just sort of watch a bullseye, and if you can stay within the circle like a video game, the router follows the line. Or it can cut on either side of the line. You can do uh, block cuts, inlays, cut things out, engraving. I mean, it's really something. So uh, I just imported a, a image of a butterfly that I found online, brought that into Illustrator, transformed that with an auto trace, I think it's called. Again, I'm not an Illustrator guy. That was more of a challenge for me than operating this machine. Um, and, uh, it is only a quarter inch spindle. So uh, if you're trying to bore through a three quarter inch panel, you'll have to step cut, but it even has a feature where it'll step cut down and be a couple thousands off the line. Then it'll go back and make a full cut couple thousands in and clean any of that chatter that you've created. So they've, they've thought it through. So I had a chance to review it and give it a test drive at AWSF where I was demonstrating uh, out in Vegas this last uh, summer in 2017. And boy, it was great. So I've got one of the first models here. And uh, man, if you haven't seen this thing operate, it, is, it is, has a lot of potential. Now I'm not a big computer guy, and if I can do it, you guys can probably figure it out too. But uh, I'm going to just go for it, and, and you can get, watch along and see me make some, screw it up. Hopefully I won't break it. So uh, basically you start with taking your panel and you put these little, this tape down. Uh, it has these little domino sort of dots on there, and this registers uh, the, the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, first I've got to uh, put a bit in. I'm going to do an engraving. They give you three bits, a quarter inch, an eighth inch, and an engraving bit. Uh. Oh, so one thing it doesn't do is it doesn't have a, it only has an XY axis cut. It doesn't do a Z cut, meaning the up and down. I think that's correct. Again, I'm not a big CNC guy. Um, so I was hoping to use it for uh, maybe making signs and doing that sort of calligraphy look where the, the line width will you know feather out. If it's a V groove, it can kind of come up to a point. It won't do that. So that was a little disappointing. Uh, hopefully they'll work that out in future models. Uh, but besides that, uh, it's uh, doing everything else I can think of. Uh, Fest tool uh, is providing the spindle for Shaper Origin. So you know it's a good motor. That was pretty easy. Didn't break anything yet. Okay, so the first challenge is over. I got, I got the rod a bit in. Uh, that worked out pretty well. Now we're gonna plug this baby in. Um, one thing that I already, a little criticism here is there's no on off switch. They turn on and off the, the spindle, but you can't turn on and off the machine without unplugging it. So that seems a little weird, but maybe they'll have that figured out or maybe I just don't see it. I don't know. But, uh, I'm sure they're going to be working on a lot of uh, improvements in this. Um, another thing that seems to, to be a while now, this is clearly a very sophisticated machine and probably takes a lot of memory up, but it's not as snappy as my computer that I'm used to, so um, it has to think a little bit. So you got to stand around and watch this thing kind of load up. So it is loaded up, and there's a uh, uh, a camera here that's scanning these this tape. So you lay a bunch of tape out here and it's scanning. So they'll, they'll bring the camera around. So there's a, there's the screen and we want to scan. So new scan and this is a touch screen here and it's, I can either touch the screen here or it's also showing the green button. So I'm going to hit a new scan. So now it's taking a, a picture and as they move this thing around it's mapping the entire surface. And if you're noticing these lines, these black dominoes now turn blue, which means that it's seen it and it's registered. So this is the entire surface area now that it, it is sort of memorized. And I'm gonna finish the scan. I can either touch here or I can touch this button there. And now it's uh, sort of stitching it all together and it is 
uh, mapping the entire surface. And this is what I was talking about. You know, you got to kind of watch. Now it's the center of the of the bit. So I now want to import a, a, a design. What I did is I took a butterfly and uh, I brought into Illustrator, traced it with an automatic tracing program, and now I've got sort of a uh, vector file of this butterfly. So now I want to place the butterfly, and this is a little goofy here. See, I'm, I have to zoom out. It wasn't obvious. So now, and this is where I think it's using a lot of memory up and it's not as being as responsive as I'd like to. See how it's delayed. So that would be my one criticism is clearly I think this thing needs a little memory. And these black lines here, that's my poor AutoCAD. I went to erase it, I can't figure that out. So we're gonna go for it anyhow. But I'm gonna press this button and now it's gonna sort of digitally place that on the surface. And now you can see these little dotted lines, those little ant drawings. That's uh, the cut that I want to do. So I have to just follow the direction. So, so all I have to do is keep the center of this inside that circle, and this router is going to sort of move around. I just have to follow these little dotted ants. And the beauty of it is it has an automatic tracking. So if I press the green button, I didn't have to move it, and it'll, you'll see. So I'm going to start cutting here. Let's turn this baby on. You gotta love this Festool type case also. I love these things. Uh, all in all, I think this machine is, uh, is, is well worth the money. Uh, and it's not that much, uh, depending where they are right now. You know, if you pre-order, which I did, you get a deal. And I think the price is going up. So I can't tell you where, where it stands right now. Um, you know, certainly the technology is amazing. Uh, I, it can only improve. I would love to have seen a half inch router bit, uh, more memory, it seems to be a little slow when you're bringing in large files, it's gotta think, uh, do all that math, which makes sense. Uh, a little sensitive if I move too fast, I'm impatient, I just wanna hog through everything, so it takes a finer touch, but I do think it, it has its place. Where I see the potential is when you have to do large, uh, large shapes, uh, very accurately that uh, you couldn't do any other way without a big CNC cooler for the money. Boy, if you don't have room for a CNC, uh, this could cut a, a 120 foot arc or, or all the way down to engraving a penny. Uh, so it, it has a lot of potential. I do think that's where a big potential is. If you have to cut out, you know, out of a 72 inch circle and you might even have to do it out of three or four pieces and put it together, this would be perfect for that. Um, all that CNC work, you know, I, I um, obviously could be slower than a, a CNC, but if you're in a small shop, you don't have the space or the time to be, you know, outsourcing, this is going to be a big time saver for you. So, I believe uh, at Mark Adams School of uh, Woodworking in Indianapolis, they'll be one of the first schools that will actually have training for this machine, which I definitely need. Uh, but... Um, Man, this is uh, really something. So I hope that helps, and, you know, uh, we'll see. Okay, thanks. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. I really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website, imaginegrove.com. I also have a free newsletter there, which is based on design tips for the craftspeople, so I hope that works out for you. And again, remember to find a line and cross it. See you next time.
Take me first. 